Yo, what's up, chaps and chapets? So this is going to be the type of video where I might be rambling on a little bit because I'm not sticking to a script. I haven't got any sort of script or anything like that. Uh, so I'm going to just... Go at it, man. I'm going at it straight away. We're starting off with uh, my wrist. I haven't really spoken about it quick. Um, I, I did kind of quickly touch on it about a month ago. But it's out of my cast now. I, I basically broke my distal radius bone. Some people don't regain movement. Uh, well, full movement, I should say. Full movement in their wrist. Um, so being able to like flex it the full way for like 6 months or 12 months. Luckily... Uh, for me personally, luckily, it's, it's only going to take four weeks and there's only three more weeks of that left. I've already got good wrist motion there. I can bend it quite a long way down. And then upwards is a bit more difficult, to be honest. Um, I can't really move about much upwards, but I'm just like, I'm happy to flex on Fortnite right now because like, I haven't been able to play Fortnite for five weeks. Um... I was going mad. Like, first world problems. I was going mad. I was like a little gremlin after midnight. Um, getting fed like a little chicken nuggets and chips. Happy meal. But I, I literally just like... I don't know. It's, it's nice, man. It is nice to be able to play Fortnite again. I just can't quite play it to that extent that I previously was. We're currently at an angle. We're just... We're leaning in quite happily too. Um, so, yeah. That's my bone. My bone break. We're Gucci now. It's... it's clinically healed as they say which means that it's got like a first layer of i think it's called callus bone or something like that um bone layer which goes over and all the rest of it if you do break a bone here's what i do recommend to you um first of all i wouldn't like overthink what you're seeing on the internet like i it's it's very easy to overthink and like look on the internet and start like really panicking basically just don't want to overthink it just speak to the doctor make sure you're Make sure you just get it off your chest. Like, when you speak to the the doctor, like, really make sure that every single thing that you're stressing out about, you just unleash. You're just like, yo, why am I feeling this weird? Why am I feeling, like, tingling on my wrist? Or why am I feeling this? Because I was feeling like a bunch of random stuff. And then he'd just be like, he just sat there chill, just like, yo, that's normal. And I'm like... Well, why have I been... <laughs> why, like, why haven't I been told this before? But sometimes you just need to, like private information out of them type thing oof yeah i've got to do all like these little wrist stretches and stuff like that oh that oh my days goodness me that's nice um so obviously what i was going to talk about as well is fifa and i'm also going to touch on fortnite just because if you don't already know me you'll know that i uh i do like to flex on fortnite quite a bit In fact, I've been playing. I've been playing a lot of Lego Star Wars because, um, because obviously I haven't been able to use this hand right. So I've just been sitting here with an Xbox controller, and you can play with one hand. You can use your pinky finger and like play with all of that, and it's quite easy to play Lego games. You know, I'm sitting here playing Lego Star Wars. Um, it was been. It's actually been banging. You know, getting all those gold bricks, getting all the red bricks, the mini kits coming in hot. Um, the cantina for have only just it's February it's February man and they've only just um, they've only just patched the time shot well I, I, like obviously I haven't been playing FIFA for a while I come back on it and the time shots patch like I'm actually like whoa like something's actually changed it's decent i actually quite like it to be fair but it, it, why is it taking this long like for I, I remember when fortnite made this stupid update it was dumb like it was like if you shoot a rocket or explosive then it leaks through materials so i could be sitting in my in my one by one and explosive damage leaks through how dumb is that idea so everyone ranting on twitter like what are you doing you're a bunch of moppets like honestly you guys need to sort it out right now and so they did they did they just they just went snap of the fingers type thing i can't even click my fingers <laughs> they literally just fixed it in like in a day um and for and you know fifa can barely do that at all so and there's also the fact that you know fortnite's a free game and uh, you pay for cosmetics over packs but anyway enough about fortnite versus fifa we all know fifa's shocking but here's the thing is fifa gonna change is fifa 20 gonna suddenly be some ridiculous game and i feel like all of us are almost like holding out for it let's get these wrist stretches going again um 
It's almost like we're holding out for it low-key, you know? Like, it's, it's like... Um, we all love football. Like, we all love the sport of football. Um... It can be, it can be, be it can be the beautiful game. It can be piss annoying, just like FIFA. You know, Arsenal today. How did we not beat Tottenham? Like they get some absolute bollocks penalty, which was offside, and then Aubameyang, the chance to redeem um, the wrongdoings that have been served to us in that game, and he, he flipping fluffs the penalty. Like I was pissed. Um, but you know that's that's the game of football. But FIFA FIFA's just I, I've forgotten the point that I'm even making it. Um, oh yeah, so we all love the we all love the sport of football, um, and we're almost like holding out. We almost need another creator to come in and take the licenses from EA. But really, what we need is to demand more from the game. I feel like we've just it's it's quite simple. I feel like it's too late. We've just accepted the way the game is. We're different to the, the, the how the Battlefront community was. With Battlefront, I've touched on this so many times back in the past, but I've been, like Battlefront created their loot crate system, and it was a star card system where it. To be fair, you could actually get all of the star cards. It would just take about a month, probably, if of pure grinding to get them all. Um, nothing, nowhere near as bad as FIFA. Massive outrage, biggest post ever on Reddit against it and all the rest of it. It's gone. Here, nothing. Like, nobody cares. Like, everyone's just accepting it. And the FIFA YouTubers are getting the money from it. So it's a system that, like, benefits them. And it benefits the pros as well. Because they're almost in this, in this like, enclosed club. They're, like, in this club. But it's like, unless you invest money at the start of the game to sweat foot drafts, you're not you're not getting in there and like if you're a pro you don't want more competition do you realistically like i know they love competition but you know you want you want to be in there you want to have a higher probability of being in there and that's what the pay to win system does so really we're talking about an absolutely shambolic game from a competitive standpoint and a lot of people just accept it and the thing is is like I can understand why you can, especially like some of the more casual gamers, maybe, even though the game's way too competitive in terms of just based around foot champs and division rivals. But it's like, it's been allowed, it's been allowed to, um, I think it's because it's over time. Because Ultimate Team's been going for a long time, I think that's why it's, it's allowed, because everyone just sees... Everyone's almost like humbled themselves to such an extent that getting someone like Ronaldo is something that's that's like seen as impossible and it's crazy like it's crazy to ever get that whereas you know it shouldn't be impossible or seem so far-fetched to get a hold of a player but when you've been playing this game for that long for so long that you should be able to get him anyway like you should be able to get him through playing the game which i mean you can but you won't be able to get an amazing amazing team um to compete in for champions for a long long time Unless, unless you get very lucky in packs. Um, and that's just facts. Like, it, I've heard plenty of pro players. Kurt is obviously one of the people that uh, complains the most. He's one of the only sort of honest um, pro players, to be honest. He just he just, he just just goes at them. He goes EA. He kind of doesn't care. It's kind of like the Angry Joe show. That's why I like the Angry Joe show. He just, he doesn't, he just doesn't care. Like, he'll just, he'll say, he'll say it how it is. In terms of just going at these game developers and all the rest of it. So, um, I think as a community, I mean, my video isn't gonna really, isn't really going to spark anything. But, I don't know. I just feel like as a community, we need to rally together and just like, I really just kill it. I, well, like, we need to make sure that this game, the way it is right now, is just unacceptable and it doesn't survive. Whether that's boycotting, buying packs or whatever. But, it's just I feel like it's just not going to happen. So, really, I'm just wasting my time. Um, and it's annoying because, you know, we all want to love this game. I feel like that's something that we all have in common because we do love football. Like, we want to love this game so much, but we just can't. Um, but anyway, chaps and chapits, I've got literally, I've just been like flexing my wrist this whole time, doing these little stretches. Look, like, I've got to twist it around and all this. Oh my days. All right, so, um, yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. I'll see you, chaps and chapits. Um, tomorrow. Oof. <laughs>